in three, two, one. Hey everyone, my name's Silver. Welcome back to my channel where Card Fight thrives and Minecraft dies. So guys, I'm back with another Sat 13 video and if you couldn't tell by the title, this is a theory video. And I might do a Maelstrom video because Maelstrom support has been released and talked about. We have a few more things probably coming for that. And if you guys would like to see that, let me know. But I'm not here to talk about those today. Today, guys, I have a theory <coughs> on these units. Well, sort of these units. But I also have a theory on these characters, all of them. So sit back, relax, and enjoy my thoughts. So from what we understand so far, them from what was recently released, there's a dragon known as Dragon Deity of Destruction. His clan is unknown. <coughs> and it's sort of the premise for next week's um, release of Card Fight GZ, which I'm super excited for. I need to binge watch the rest of Card Fight G, uh, Generations or whatever this is. I'm f They're running out of G puns. So... <clears throat> I'm sorry guys, I'm a bit sick today. So, um, there are six apostles that are going to gather to summon this almighty beast. And we all know who they are. We have confirmed two are Link Joker and Kagero. And this is where it gets interesting. So, we'll start off here. We have our first Mega Colony user, the queen who rules the criminal organization, Grand Grandora... She's the queen of the criminal organization. She's also the mother of all their mutants and weapons. It appears she has some criminal scheme. That's all we know about her. But guys, I did a quick Google search. Or not Google search, but app search and all that other stuff. And I haven't found a unit named by her. So this is a new unit. Keep that in mind because my theory is going to go somewhere with this. We have Darkface. We know who that is. That's a pretty common unit or was for a while in the game. That's also another mega colony. So I'm really confused on why we have two mega colony <coughs> um, unit uh, criminals. Um, I'm really hoping to see something fun with that. And he's the self restrained strongest mutant who is loyal to the queen. He's secretly acting on earth before she arrived. He ne He's not just bronze, but brains and per prevent and private provides the use of science wow i am sick like i said we also have an aqua force user the fleet and admiral who fell into the void and this unit doesn't exist either as of right now i checked that and he's aqua force's first fleet admiral he nearly defeated uh our new dragon in the past it seems he's connected with a certain holy sword. So I'm assuming this is going to be some sort of alt mile connection. And then we have the evil, the evil god bishop who leads the apostles from Dark Irregular. I couldn't find this name. I'm going to do some more gig digging later. But he's the mastermind who sent Sharanuri, which is another main factor to this theory, <coughs> to Earth. He is the master of the prisons of souls, relics, and he is he has a terrifying strategy to defeat his mortal enemy, Messiah. So he's gonna be Messiah's opponent. I'm gonna say probably Shion's, um Chrono, Tokoha, and I don't know, someone. Maybe um Taiyu. And then yeah. So that's kind of interesting. Um, we know that all the six new units, they aren't part of a clan, but they're part of each nation, are also, um, what's it called, are, are all dragon-based, which leads into my theory, but really first, I just want to point out, we have our confirmed, um, dragon empire, we have our, whatever the water thing is called, we have, we're gonna get one for Mega Colony, one for... <clears throat> well, one for Zoo Nation, one for whatever, for the Dark Zone, one for um, the Stargate. But United Sanctuary, there's not an apostle that uses any of the clans from there. So that's going to be interesting. I 
mini theory on this is I believe that there's a seventh apostle and he just uses the same form of dragon stride as she does <clears throat> and he'll be defeated real early on and just be taken off the board entirely and then the new maybe Tayo joins the apostles that would be sort of meta which if it does it burns a hole in this theory so let's get back to the actual theory actual theory so um in a little bit i'm gonna insert some clips maybe on screen while i'm talking probably not my two biggest ideas is all the apostles are using dragons which the only way that this works is if dark face becomes something dragon or whatever because if you look at it he is using a dragon unit from kagiro we have chaos breaker <clears throat> and these are two confirmed apostles they tried to get um spoilers as well please everyone if you haven't watched the anime please go watch it because spoilers are coming you've been warned so in an episode they tried to get um what's his name uh, uh rizuki or whatever the shadow paladin user from season one that wanted the miracle cards and tried to force him to be overtaken by um cleric sword dragon his new stride that's a very key thing so that would be right there three confirmed dragons <coughs> so and when you look at Chernui from Nubatama he's a dragon that's four dragons Chernui was if he was meant to be an apostle and he failed I haven't seen the newest stuff yet then that makes sense but you just can't have three dragons dangling with three ultimate dragon themed strides without more dragons so i'm proposing that all six of these characters at least these five guaranteeing that these two already have dragons that all these characters are going to be dragon themed as well so some it's going to be a mutant bug insect dragon we're going to have a dark irregular dragon <clears throat> and an aqua force dragon which aqua force does technically have dragons so that is that theory but i also have more theories to go along with these um there's talk about um these cards when they're used they flip up your entire g zone that's a nice balancing mechanic because these can be used in any deck i love the art for these but i do have one other theory that if there's six apostles which i really wish i didn't close that tab by mistake but if there's six apostles for the dragon deity of destruction could there be technically seven apostles of dragon deity creation because and this is just going off of basic mythology and everything there has to be a balance of two for destruction there has to be creation in life so i'm what i'm proposing is these are not the only z dragons these are the six destruction dragons and later on we're going to get six dragons of creation that the six main heroes or cast is going to use to stop these six infinitely powerful better dragons of destruction and then it's that's sort of going to be the whole arcing point in the anime chrono get something to involve gear chronicle making it more broken so on so forth <coughs> um but yeah i mean the theory is there now there's a couple holes that i'd like to fill out not every unit that's been sent to planet earth has been dragon themed i will admit that but at the same time not all of them are evil technically in g sharon is the only evil one the kagero user is sort of just miserable he's he's a i want to call him a war veteran that's what he is he survived war and then you have um the genesis user she's just wants to experience vanguard and what people see and feel their whatever emotion and then we have our mustakir user rest in peace my bud rest in peace he just wanted to be there he wanted a good time and it was unfortunate that he died when he did and i have another video covering that later on i also have more videos to come when i'm feeling better again i wanted to put this out there to try to stick on my weekly post 
But guys, I'm going to end it off here to try to keep my videos under 10 minutes. This was the theory of every Apostle of Destruction is using some sort of dragging unit, which will be awesome to think about. Keep it in mind. I can't wait to see more of these effects and what these units are going to do. On top of that, the theory, there's another, my other theory is that there's going to be six Apostles of Creation for the main cast to fight this battle because... Unless they're getting these dragons of so much power of destruction, which I don't think they would because they're supposed to be bad guys, then this could be a very interesting upcoming video. And yeah, I want to try to end it here, so I will see you all later. But until next time, guys, let me know what you want to see next for set 13 or future content. I've been the Silver Wolf. I will see you all later. Peace.